In this video, I'm sharing tips to legally protect yourself as a creative or an entrepreneur. This is really important to watch because so many people overlook this stuff and it can get you into serious trouble. And I'm not gonna let that happen to you today. So let's do it. Phil Palin of Brand Strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today I'm in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and I'm making this video with information that's important for every creative and entrepreneur. When you're first starting out as a creative freelancer or entrepreneur, hiring a lawyer might seem excessive, and I totally get that. Back in the beginning stages of my entrepreneurial journey, I was just making enough to pay my bills. Why would I need to hire a lawyer? That sounds stressful. Well, you might need a lawyer sooner than you realize. After running my agency for over a decade, I've learned that lawyers aren't just reserved for the ultra elite. A lawyer's protection can help you before you even need it. On my recent podcast episode, I met with my own lawyer, Mark Wright, who specializes in law for bloggers and creators. He's awesome. That conversation inspired me to create this YouTube video with my must know tips for entrepreneurs about the law. So let's get started with those tips, shall we? Tip number one, know the right time to hire a lawyer. People have different opinions on this, but here's my take. Get a lawyer when you've decided that you want to make money through your hustle. I say this because there's an important junction for any freelancer or entrepreneur in their journey. The moment that you decide to transition from hobby to money source, and that's the moment you should consult a lawyer. Tip number two, use contracts. I realize it isn't particularly fun or riveting to talk about this, but contracts are the only way that you can protect your rights and your client's rights. How? Well, send someone, whoever you're doing work with, a contract before doing the work. For example, when you win a new project, I know it's tempting to start the work right away, but hold your horses. A contract protects you and your client from legal issues down the road, and it can help get the terms of the engagement down on paper. Be sure to send a contract before sending any invoices or doing any work to make sure that you're on the same page. Let's keep going. Tip number three, understand copyright. I need you to understand what copyright is as well as the phrase work for hire if you're a freelancer or entrepreneur creating an artistic deliverable. Photographers, this is mainly for you. You are automatically assigned copyright of any photo that you take, even if it's for a client. That means a client cannot sell or advertise using your image without your permission and often a license. If a client wants you to sign a work for hire deal, that means that they want to also have copyright of the image. So be sure to price with this in consideration. I have two more tips for you. Let's keep going. Tip number four, privacy and terms. If you have a website, you probably do. It's a very good idea to have a terms and conditions page and a privacy policy. They're both different. A lawyer can help you write both of these. You can't simply copy and paste is from someone else's website that is not allowed. A terms and conditions page is essentially a legally binding contract between you and anyone who visits your website. It establishes rules and guidelines and it also protects that content on your website from a legal standpoint. A privacy policy is a little bit different. It discloses the ways that your website gathers, uses, discloses, and manages a user's data. Particularly if you're selling things on your website, e-commerce, it's very important to have both of these. Even if you're not selling things, I'd recommend having terms and conditions and a privacy policy. Now onto our last tip. Tip number five, be aware of copycat websites out there. This happens way more often than you think, and it's part of why having a terms and conditions page is so important. People will outright duplicate websites or reuse blog posts or snippets of code and try and pass it off as their own work when it's not, it could be yours. A lot of stuff online is public facing, which makes this very easy to do. I'm gonna show you. For example, in Chrome, I can go to view, developer, view source and see all the code for the page that I'm looking at. And I could copy and paste, but that would be illegal. If you ever notice an instance where someone has copied you, contact a lawyer immediately. They can help. This is what they do. See, lawyer stuff is not all that bad. I did make this video a little bit shorter on purpose. 
For more in-depth on this topic, though, I recommend listening to my podcast episode with Mark Wright. That is Brand Therapy Episode 146. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos here on YouTube on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing through a few videos that I think you're going to be interested in. I'm Phil Pallon. Thanks for watching. And those videos are coming up next.